customize slide presentation template is all about that we're going to talk in this video and the idea is with very minimal knowledge of um, HTML I want to at the end of the day provide you a, a ready-made template where you can uh, work with a cool template of HTML such as this which you can even work locally or hosted in a website when you can go over and interactively work with different slide presentations and uh, essentially go use your arrow key go over different um, slides and escape key to go and that's the home page for my slide presentation um, so what was the motivation for this and what, what could be a use case for you is let's imagine that you want to have a customized uh, slide template for your presentation where you want to put different sort of information a mix of text and image which for example something that I have here sometimes you have too many texts sometimes you have too little and you want to mix it with the image and you have some information uh, some categorical information like for example I have here type linguistic figures these are three tags or three information for this page that I wanted to have a separate column and customize for that which I have here and that's uh, what I'm going to talk about in this video that how you can um, what is the initial source that I used and how I came to the customization of the this format that I wanted and hopefully that's useful for you so let's come back to the rest of the video to see how actually we're gonna achieve this okay so the resource that I used it's the Booker uh, not Booker sorry it's shower essentially the shower template for um, the book down um, library in R markdown so you don't need to use any um, R language or have used R markdown at all uh, the, the template is already uh, available to use as a HTML format and you can just uh, customize the HTML and this uh, the layout format in the CSS file um, which I'm gonna show how uh, and work with it and you don't need any R language multi uh, manipulation but this is where the initial source came about so I'm gonna post the link and everything in the web page and put it the link in the description uh, so the initial source is shower and um, there is um, some information here you can see that it's already available in action and you end up with something like this right so initially you have your that's the home page of the slide presentation slide and you can click on either of the page and with the arrow page you can go and interact and again you have the the web, web page where you can go and uh, find it yourself and uh, I use just arrow page and go over and interact with it and I can use the escape um, button to go back to the initial page now uh, so I use this and if it's already fine with what you want then that has great right but um, what I wanted to have um, a more customized layout and I have much more information and different variety of information that I wanted to put in one slide not necessarily too many words it's just different type of information so uh, let's imagine so I wanted to have two columns as, as you saw in the final format uh, and that's what you get with the basic two columns format in, in here but essentially that's not exactly what I wanted so what I did I downloaded the resource here and then I added a slight um, template and manipulation on top of it to end up with what uh, you saw something like this something like this that I'm able to customize the the color this the width the size of information and the, there's a and there is a combination of uh, essentially text and um, image here and also I wanted to as much as possible use the space so um, I kind of um, the margin in the top left and bottom and right I, I kind of play with them but of course this is all I'm gonna show them how, how, how you can play with them so and that's actually uh, I think that's that's the the final uh, look of what I get so let's see how we can uh, work with it what's your starting point so again you want to go 
in here in the github page for for shower and download uh, as uh, it says here download this shower zip zip file and then once you download it you're gonna end up with one basic uh, template with the in in index html file that that gives you something like this uh, something like this one and also there are two different templates uh, with different slight looks there as well that you can work with right and um, so that's the first step the second step you want to open that HTML file the index HTML file inside that zip zip file that you found and um, what we're gonna see is here so you wanna open it and you're gonna end up with something like this I opened it you can open it in any text editor text, text uh, even a notepad or something like that or a note uh, app and uh, I open it in a VS code um, so what the next thing that I want to do is I show you the different things that I put to end up with that final customization look so as you can see there is a range of CSS files that we don't necessarily need need to customize all of them uh, uh, it's already there that gives us that final look that you saw and uh, the first thing you want to do for the look that I had is uh, again I'm gonna give you this whole code as as the final result in the web page in the description here I'm just gonna explain that what is added on top of the github resource that you saw there is there are certain things that are added that uh, give you that final customized outlook of the slides to you so um, each slide is a specific, uh, specified with a section container here and class slide which is the that that is the setting in the shower template uh, what I added is inside this uh, that's the part that I added so you have another section I added just the class name of uh, just the customized name whatever um, and I wanted to have two columns so that's actually something that I found online I, I use it on, on add customization on top of it so you need a navigation bar on the left and you need the article um, bar column on the right the article gives you essentially the the combination of text and image that that you want that uh, that I wanted so essentially what this gives you is this type of um, this type of look so this is the navigation on the left that's my navigation and on the right that's my article container now I wanted to again um, the final use case is very common that you have different type of image with different width and different size right but you wanted to have a consistent look at the end so it's, it's essential for you to specify where your image you how your image you want to you want it to look right so the uh, in order to sort out the image that's what i find is, is useful essentially to have this type of code which is just the image um image line of code for html um the again uh, just minimal customization you need just change this to the uh, link of the image that you have and uh, here the, in terms of the slide that just specify the height the width and this is again I kind of played with this number because I wanted um, I wanted this image to be top on the top right hand side of the the article in the right column and I wanted to text to fill the rest of it um, so this is gives you a consistent a fixed um, container with the size for your image that essentially if you have any size of image which I have here let's let me show you um, the final there you go where is it there you go so I have here many different pages with different size of uh, pictures but all of them have a consistent look for me right sometimes I have too many texts like here uh, but always image look the same so that's what I wanted to achieve one more thing that you need to have is you need to uh, let me go back to here you need to specify in the 
in the draw the top of this uh, code there is a part uh, for styling that I that I added a couple of items here which is this this part then you don't need to know all of them but if you go uh, um, one by one it's actually pretty simple in terms of what I added so this is um, for image for image I wanted to be float in terms of the uh, the combination of the layout adjustment of image and text I wanted to the text to float um, an image to be the right hand side floating on the text and I specify already I specified this size so now I'm happy with the text right next thing I wanted to add is I wanted to make sure I'm using the maximum size of the template um, the slide to use all my information in terms of the layout that I have so if you go to the standard look of what shower look like if you look at something like um, let me see something like this again um, this is what you get initially when so far what I have uh, what I added just the navigation layer uh, an article two columns I added inside the the shower uh, template with minimal uh, modification but I, I don't get the look that I want there is too many white space here too many white space and if you have too many text you end up getting something like this and even the layout doesn't work pro properly so what I want is um, two things I want to get rid of this um, white space so I want to have me um, the good amount of sensible amount of margin on all four sides of this page and you can play with it I'm gonna show you what I added and uh, and also the width uh, the width of this left bar seems to be too much I can uh, I can reduce it and even the size of the font I, I can change it and one other thing that uh, the last thing that I want to do sometimes I have too many texts sometimes I have too little of text in here like um, here yeah, you, can, you see sometimes I have just one line sometimes I have many um, what I want to do is to be able to um, be able to change the size of just with um, the as you can see I, I, I'm changing the size of the zooming in, in my um, browser and I can change um, I can make sure I have all the text right so it's, it's, it's one line of code for the font size that I added and if I have something like this you can even make it bigger like um, I can play with it and, and it's, it's essentially um, ideal for me because I have different variety of information with different text um, so let's that's the final piece that we are gonna add on top of what we have which we're gonna go next okay so the last thing that I wanted to add is to go over and show you where is all the information about the margins so about the margins if you look at the style section on top of the customized indexed HTML file that I'm uh, providing in the web page um, description is there information like this um, so this is where uh, I have my titles in a H2 format and uh, this makes sure that they are kind of in a in top they are not uh, wasting too many white space for me um, this is about space again where, where I have sometimes I'm specifying font size sometimes padding is just the space between different objects uh, I want to make sure they make sense uh, that's uh, the customized um, box that I added where the two columns were it was in, inside that customized I just call it cost and what I'm adding if you um, if you remember there was too many white space here right there is too many uh, white space here I want to get rid of this white space in a uh, right left top which uh, that's what it does for you and you can play with these numbers I, I wanted to um, keep it stretch it to uh, get rid of that white space and make sure that I'm using as much as space as possible so I played with this high height and width as well and that's the font size so so far that allows you to kind of um, make sure you have good amount of 
and margins and the sizing of your your objects this is uh, what gives you again I just found it online and I add, add it here which uh, for the viewport width which is what uh, you end up seeing that if you have too many text or too little text we're just changing you can have a good amount of default number I just put it 1.1 that made sense for me you can change it so default it looks good depending on how many texts you have uh, hopefully you don't have too many texts per slide um, but uh, then if you have this number whatever this number is you can play with the zooming of the page and just be able to uh, see everything in one slide and imagining that you are presenting this slide somewhere so you are, are in control of the sizing of the zooming of uh, that page but as a default you can play with this number to see what, what makes sense to you navigation is that left um, panel um, kind of green greenish uh, color uh, or this um, ter ter turquoise type of color that you saw on the left bar so I can specify the color again the padding and everything and how much you want to have this uh, maximum width how much you want it to be you can play with this number to be as uh, fit with your data type of information as like a tag or a meta inform metadata information that you want to have uh, on the left um, bar in navigation bar for your um, slide and uh, some other information again this left makes sure that I don't have too many um, left uh, space uh, wasted inside that uh, left navigation and similar things in the article in the article that was the right article is the name of the right column and here again by specifying uh, this whenever I have left um, right top or bottom um, and with the number I want to make so make sure that the size is filled and um, so on and so forth so that's the information that we have here and let me see if I missed anything I think no that's that's exactly uh, what I wanted to cover so that's essentially the customized page for what I what I need needed and hopefully maybe that that's some use case for you as well to have the customized column with some as much as possible space that I can fill my information there and lastly um, if you want to have a title page and play with the uh, with the essentially the size of the font there you can do and that's what end up giving you this type of um, this type of a slide with just the text give you uh, with class shout that's built in in the shower template that I show you that that actually gives you um, something like this so this is the final look for one slide um, and as you can see now um, so this is done for the customization of template uh, what we actually wanted to do on top of it which would be a topic of uh, another video coming in the channel which you can find the link um, uh, for that as well is I had um, information uh, that I wanted to fill to this website uh, this slide template as you can see this is one example but I rep replicated for many so I had this information in a tabular format in an in a Excel file or in a CSV file and I wanted to automate creation of a slide based on the information that you have in data yeah, and that your data could be anywhere could be in a database could be in Excel file could be in Google sheet and um, so how do you automate creating a slide based on information in a tabular format in an Excel format for example in a Google Sheet format that would be a um, next step of this project this, uh, this would be a separate video coming in the channel hopefully this is useful for you and see you in next video